So today uh, is the first time I uh, attend the SDNMV forum, but I'm very glad to share what's, you know, Huawei point of view about the SDN technology in the future. So today, you know, I will show you know, how to maximize the business value. So we introduce a new technology, so, but how can we bring the value to convince the management team to support? So how to bring the new value to your customer? So first of all, I just uh, want to update you know, the Huawei you know, progress about you know, SDN era. So we look at, you know, we sign more than, and deliver more than, you know, 590, you know, commercial contract in global market, and more than 180 uh, come from, you know, the carrier market. But actually, you know, we look at, you know, so look at, you know, the enterprise market. It's running very fast than the carrier. So such as, you know, data center network, so campus network, they introduce the automation technology, cloud-native architecture, faster than the carrier. So, but actually, we also, you know, delivering, you know, the SDN technology such as one technology and optical backbone area. But it's at least lower than the, car the enterprise domain. So, I also just share three questions to everybody. Uh, so, first of all, you know, internet traffic grows so ten times, so every five years. And the network scale is more and more, you know, uh, complexity. If we compare, if we look at, you know, 5G and the cloud, you, know, you would deploy more base stations, but how can you handle so more, you know, size, more base station? And the sort of question is, you know, today, so it's more than, you know, 58% you know, the ticket, the issue ticket, it's triggered by the cost complaint. This is disaster. Because of when the customer complain, so you lost the cost <coughs> trust already. This is disaster. This is very bad, you know, systems. So, so three questions: How can we, you know, address the surging traffic in the future? So how can we alleviate, you know, the network complexity in the future? And how can we transformation, support the transformation? So today, I just I, I don't want to you know, give the you know, standardized uh, answers to everybody. I just share our you know, point of view. So we can learn something from the other industry. So such as you know, OTT player, the cost effective way and efficiency is 10 times than the carrier domain. But what's their, you know, best practice? That's the first thing. So first of all is user-centric operation. They all concern the customer experience anytime, anywhere. So low cost complaint. So before the cost complaint, they have solved the problem already. This is another, you know, philosophy, right? The second thing is automation technology. They introduce automation earlier than the our you know, industry, right? The third one is fabric, you know, architecture. And the last one, I think this is the most important one. They always introduce the latest technology. But today, so we observe from, you know, the tech or, or industry, we look at, you know, the legacy network is so complex. So many layers, many, you know, size. This is a problem. So, but what's Huawei's philosophy, right? So we want just to share four, you know, uh, points. So first of all, we must, you know, transform from, you know, network-centric to the user-centric. So what's meaning the network-centric? So every year, you know, we do the, you know, the road test, just once. So we don't care about the customer experience anytime. Just once, you know, P3 test. Just once. Just one time. Right? So do we care about the customer experience anytime? So we just collect the books and power on and run 
the finish, right? So we must transform, you know, from the network centric to the user centric. And the second one, you know, from left side, you know, the fragmented organization, you know, structure, process to closed loop. So today, most of the operator, you know, is pyramid, you know, organization. So can we restructure the organization as, you know, the flat model, closed loop group? And then, you know, can feedback to the customer, you know, complain faster than before, right? The third one is reactive to proactive. So this is very, very important things. So everybody, you know, are experts in here in terms of SDN technology. But SDN technology is not enough. So even you virtualize everything, but it's not enough. So can you, you know, observe the problem before the customer complain and solve it? The last one, you know, skill depend on people from, you know, the automation technology. Yeah. So our, you know, point of view is, so we want to, you know, solve this problem. But we must introduce a new architecture. So we say digital world, digital world. So Huawei, you know, cloud engine is a framework, it's a software portfolio, so support, you know, digital world, digital world. So yesterday, you know, SDN, uh, software define everything. So we do believe, you know, automation network is the future, is the future. So, but how can we, you know, migrate from the install-based network to the automation networks? So this is a long journey, long journey, yeah. So we do believe, you know, introduce a, a internet-based network, introduce a digital world, is a new way, it's a new way. So just the four letters, so A, B, C, D, we say. So cloud is the mandatory requirement. So no cloud, no big data. Low big data, no artificial intelligence. We say A, B, C, D. This three, you know, key technology that support, you know, digital train, you know, digital world, digital world. So, IDA, you know, intent driven network is in the middle between, you know, the SD network and autonomous network. So maybe in the future we can say ADN network, autonomous driven network. So yesterday SD network, but today we think, you know, IDN. So this is the framework of Huawei, you know, uh, uh, you know, network infrastructure. So at the bottom, so we say this is a physical world. The so big bandwidth, ultra bandwidth, more connectivity, low latency. The infrastructure is still very important, but this is not enough. So we introduce, you know, network cloud engine. So this is, you know, the, the, the portfolio includes four engines. So you can see the left side, you know, internet engine and automation engine. So the Automation engine, such as controller, and internet engine working together can support, you know, the machine machine uh, to machine interface. Change from the man machine interface to machine to machine interface. But this is not enough. So after you, you know, the cloud or, you know, the machine configure your network. So how can you vari validate it's correct or not? So today you configure the network just one time, maybe per month. But in the future, so every day you will modify the network configuration more than 100 times. But how can you validate? It's correct or not? So we introduce two engines you know, at the right side. So we say analysis engine and intelligence engine. Big data based you know, systems and can, you know, working as a closed loop, you know, mechanism. So configure, validate, this is closed loop architecture. So, but anyhow, you know, we, we don't want to lock in the operators, you know, systems. So we also, you know, building an openness architecture. So look at, you know, the law stand. So we support, you know, such as RESTful innovates. So we support 
integrated with your OSS, OSS systems and software systems, your business systems. But last, the, the southbound, so we also support, you know, the, uh, the uh, or, or, how say, the uh, open APIs, such as telemetry interface or NetConf Young model. So this is our, you know, philosophy, uh, openness architecture. So, and then, so after we introduce a, you know, digital world, but how we, you know, do the three questions. So, traffic, you know, architecture, and, you know, reactive to proactive systems, right? So, so we, you know, give our philosophy, you know, uh, uh, related with, you know, two words. So one is a physical word, another one is digital word, right? So physical words, first of all, we just share our, you know, uh, point of view. So network more slow to address the surging, you know, traffic. So from the IP, you know, MPS network, the router, you know, every two years, so we can, you know, improve the capacity two times, two times, right. And uh, the optical transmission area, so every three years, so we support, you know, the traffic, the capacity, you know, double. For the, you know, access, such as Pong network, so every four years, you know, the capacity will double. Double. This is not easy. Uh, this is Huawei, you know, uh, most rule. Uh, but, you know, improve, you know, the capacity is not enough. So more, you know, servers, so big chases, cluster systems, this is not enough. But we also try to, you know, share our, you know, point of view about how to simplify the infrastructure. So first of all, we must, you know, decouple the service, you know, from the infrastructure. And then you can introduce a standardized, you know, fabric network. So fabric, what's the meaning of fabric? Fabric is just this, you know, traffic switching. Yeah. So because of today, so you use this, it's keep, it's flat, but your traffic uh, increase very fast. So we decoupling, you know, the, you know, the, uh, how say, the computing systems from the infrastructure layer. Uh, infrastructure just focus on, you know, the switching systems. Yeah. Standardized, you know, fabric systems and the modern systems. But anyhow, you know, one comment, the optic is very, very important. Yeah. If you want to introduce, you know, fabric systems, so optical first. Optical is the fundamental. So the t two, you know, words for the uh, physical network, how say, Morse rule and, uh, um, you know, simplify the infrastructure. And then you look at, you know, digital world, you know, three things, automation, programmability, and intelligence. So first of all, we talk about automation. So automation, you know, so from 2016 to 2018. So we, you know, merging and, uh, you know, rebuild the, you know, the cloud-based system step by step. So 2016, we just, you know, support, you know, the convergence between management systems and the control systems. And last year, so we launched, you know, the new systems, you know, cloud-native-based. This is very, very important, cloud-native-based and open APIs. So this year, so we, you know, introduce four engines. Intelligence is very important. So today, if you just, you know, virtualize the life cycle, it's not enough. You just virtualize the element management systems. But how can you empower your engineers to do more things than before? This is not enough. So you might, must introduce, you know, the big data systems, the machine can empower you guys do more things than before, right? So four engines, in the middle, four engines. On the left side, we introduce, you know, design, you know, studio systems. This is a program system. 
So look at it, you know, in the middle, design stereo systems. So we now support more than 400 Microsoft service. And then, so you can define the service model. You can define the analytics model. You can define the algorithm. You can select. So this is very important. You can program the life cycle. You can define, you customize, you know, process. And then, you know, active, you know, the digital world, we say runtime, runtime, runtime. So this is programability, programability. So this year, we now support more than, you know, 100 use cases and more than 40, you know, algorithm, algorithm. So what your life, it's not enough. So SDN is not enough. Yeah. So the third thing of the digital world is intelligence. So machine learning algorithm is maturity systems. But how can you use this one? How can we leverage the, new, the AI you know, technology to improve our efficiency? This is the key. How can we do this? How can we practice? So first of all, you know, we you know, introduce a new you know, foundation. We say, you know, OPM model. So in the middle, the left side in the middle, OPM. So object, object right? Property and uh, metric. So this is very, very important. So if you want to introduce a, a big date to your data lake systems, so how can we introduce the standardized, the unified uh, and the standardized data model? So OPM is in you know, our 3D mission you know, architecture. And we support five levels data, uh, uh, unified data model. And on the top, you can observe you know, this is full life cycle systems, such as planning, uh, design, provisioning, maintenance, operation. So this is end-to-end -end life cycle. You can, you know, program the life cycle. So at the bottom, so you, you can see, you know, telemetry. We support, you know, the ubiquitous, you know, sensors and real-time, you know, telemetry. So this is very, very important, you know. But how does the network know his situation? No, we know the traffic. We know the usage of the network. We know, you know the network is connectivity or not. But the data is not enough. So why? Because of data. Data you know, hidden in the traffic. The chipset cannot generate the situation of the network by himself. This is the problem. So Huawei now redesign, redesign the whole systems. So from you know the digital world you know to the systems hardware and a chipset. This is very important. So even you design very uh, smart you know algorithm, but data is not enough. So data is very important. So such as telemetry is the key technology. You know for uh, for SDN or for you know. You know, the digital world. So intelligence, another, you know, use case is I just saw here. So today, left side, you, you can see. So, so we just, you know, can identify, you know, less than, you know, 30% of the pawn system problem. So many tickets must be handled by your log, log right? By your engineers. Less than you know 30 percent, but after we you know introduce the new systems, we can improve from 30 percent to 80 percent. So the ticket can identify by the machine. So the left side, you know, less than you know three percent, you know the ticket, the issue ticket, yeah. generated by the machine automatically. So many, you know, P&E, you know, engineers in your company, hundreds. So even you outsourcing, you know, 
the PNE, you know, service to the third party, but it's still, you know, low efficiency. But today, we, you know, we can improve from 3% to 20%. So it is meaning, you know, more than 20%. Ticket, the issues, you know, issue ticket can generate it by the system automatically. So, so today I just show you know our you know philosophy, so IDN systems, so intent driven systems, so two worlds you know physical world and digital world. So the digital world you know, so A B C D you know, the four you know key technology can support the digital world, right? The data, the, the big data you know, the artificial intelligence and the cloud based and data twins. So, and after we you know, introduce the digital world, so we can find you know, small ideas to solve the physical world problem. So we can map the new framework to different scenarios. The right side, we just list you know, eight you know, uh, scenarios so to use this system uh, to, to deploy you know, the ID network. network. So, so thank you very much. I just to share, you know, what's Huawei ideas about the future. Thank you. Really.